a mud here. So uh, a lot of you ceramics people seem to be getting interested in our wood-fired rocket kiln. So uh, we had a lovely visit with a bunch of you at the Enseca conference in Cincinnati where we stuck an old burned out electric kiln on top of a rocket heater core and fired some pottery there in the back lot and that seemed to bring up more questions than it answered so I thought I'd take a minute to post an explanation of rocket heater technology for you pottery folk and see where that goes so here's my fancy model this is a rocket heater core. It's a J tube, which means it's a J shaped tube made out of fire brick. It's that yellow stuff here, and ceramic wool insulation surrounding it. Uh, it turns small scraps of waste wood into clean heat uh, for warming a house or a shop or a hot tub. That's my favorite. Um, or firing a kiln short end here that's the feed tube that's where the air comes in and that's where you put the wood in so there's my wood scraps coming in the feed tube there and uh, this middle part that's the burn chamber when it gets hot enough the flammable gases in the wood evaporates and uh, mixes with the hot air in the chamber and causes a violent chemical reaction uh, that produces more heat. In other words, all the gases catch on fire. Over here at the other end, this is a riser or a chimney. The gases in the chamber, being hot, will tend to rise somewhat forcefully up that chimney, pulling more air in here to mix with the hot evaporated flammable gases and catch on fire again and uh, those will also be hot so they'll want to rise up the chimney here and uh, uh, we'll have a theme going you sense a theme there a little air and a little fuel and uh, heat will mix and react and produce a lot of very hot clean burning exhaust a uh, proper mix of heat and air and fuel will burn hot and clean upwards of uh, 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, if you see any smoke or soot, that's uh, unburned, unreacted fuel, which means that it's either not hot enough or there's not enough air getting uh, into the fuel, uh, which means that the incomplete reaction is going to slow things down and cool things down. So we want hot clean burning in order to get to uh, uh, kiln temperatures. So that is a wood burning rocket core. Now I use these for lots of things. If you, uh, if you put a pot, there's my little pot there, you put that on top of the uh, chimney and now you got a rocket stove for cooking. Or if you take an old barrel, put it upside down, over the top of the riser. The uh, exhaust as it goes through will heat the barrel and that'll radiate into the room as the exhaust goes up that chimney and out of the room. The heat will stay in the room and warm things up. Now if you don't want to feed this fire all night to stay warm, then you add a thermal mass battery. That's basically just a big ceramic or mud couch clay, sandy clay straw is what I work with. It's called cob. But that gets wrapped around the exhaust there before it goes up the chimney and takes all the heat out and stores the heat in the room. And uh, you sit on that mass bench or the, or the cat sits on it and it warms the cat and the cat's comfortable and everybody's happy as long as you like cats but the part you've probably been waiting for if we push the cat out of the way and lose the barrel 
move our riser up in the air a bit and stick a, an old electric kiln that you can't use anymore on top of my burn chamber with a hole in the bottom and a hole in the top and some pottery and some kiln shelves acting as baffles so the exhaust doesn't just shoot straight through it because it has to wander around a little in there that is your uh, rocket kiln it takes about two and a half hours and a couple of boxes of wood scraps uh, to fire a 30 inch rocket kiln which is about half the time and uh, a heck of a lot less money than the 30 to 50 dollars it takes to fire the same kiln using electricity so uh, here at uh, the wood-fired kiln forum we've been sharing what we're learning and we're encouraging you to experiment and share what you learn too uh, hopefully there'll be a lot of that going on as you guys get interested too we're working on plans and kits in case you want someone else to do the work for you. But I'm sure you've got a, an old burned out kiln sitting around that you want to play with. And if you want to follow along with what we're doing or send us money for pizza, you can find us playing in the mud and fire at the Uncle Mud channel on YouTube or UncleMud.com or Patreon.com forward slash Uncle Mud. Uh, anyway, um, I hope you put questions in the comments and let us know what ideas you've got for making these rocket kilns work even better, because I bet you've got a few. Take care. <laughs>